Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn how to animate this custom logo in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to import my vector logo file into After Effects. By the way, if you're not sure how to prepare your logo file in Illustrator for animation, no worries. I've already created a separate tutorial explaining all the steps in detail. I highly recommend checking that out before jumping in. Alright, back to the video. I'm just going to select the vector logo file and click import. Now after clicking import, you'll see a pop-up box. I always recommend choosing composition retain layer sizes. Once that's done, I'll double click the new composition to open it. As you can see, we've got a bunch of layers here. This is our logo broken into its parts. The first thing I'll do is delete the background layer because we don't need it. To create this logo animation, we'll break it into five different scenes and later we'll merge them together into one final animation. Let's start with scene one. I'll first select the dot layer, copy it and then click this icon to create a new composition. I'll name this one Scene 1 and set the duration to around 3 seconds. Then I'll paste the dot layer into this new comp. Now, let's animate it. I want this dot to move along a custom path. The best way to do this is, first deselect the layer, then grab the pen tool and draw a path. In this case, I want the dot to come from the bottom and move to the right. After that, I'll select the shape layer, go to the search bar and type path to reveal the path property in the shape dropdown. Click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then copy this path. Now close the shape layer, select the dot layer and open up its position property. Make sure the time indicator is at the first frame, then paste the path here. And just like that, the dot is now moving along the path we drew. Next, let's select all the keyframes and apply Easy Ease for smoother motion. Then, I'll open the graph editor. This is where we can tweak the motion curve. You'll notice each vertex in the graph connects to a keyframe. I want to change a few of them to Bezier keyframes for more control. For example, I'll click on this keyframe and it automatically becomes a Bezier keyframe. Now, if I move the point, you'll see it's not connected. To fix that, I'll double click it. A pop-up appears. Just click OK. Now it's connected. Now I can move and adjust the handles like this to create a more natural movement. I want the dot to start fast, slow down in the middle, and then speed up again as it exits the frame. Just a little adjustment. And that's looking good. After that, I'll add a scale keyframe near the end, then go back to the first frame and increase the scale to around 300. It's getting bigger, so I'll tweak the position slightly. Let's preview it. And lastly, I'll turn this scale keyframe into a busier keyframe for smooth scaling. And that wraps up scene one. Let's move on to scene two. Click the new comp icon again and name it scene two. Now go back to the vector logo, comp. Copy the dot layer and paste it into scene two. I'll scale it up a bit. Next, go to the project panel, duplicate the vector logo comp, rename it to logo, and open it. In this new comp, I'll remove the dot layer. We only want the logo here. Back in scene 2, I'll drag the logo comp into the timeline. Now I'll animate the dot. I want it to come in from the left and move up. So I animate the position of this dot.
Once the keyframes are set, I'll easy ease them. Go to the graph editor and then fine tune the motion in the speed graph to make it smoother. After that, I'll set the track mat of the logo layer to use the dot layer. Then I'll reorder the layers so the dot is below the logo. And this creates a nice mask reveal effect. I hope you're getting the idea. I followed the same process to create scenes 3 and 4, so let's jump straight to scene 5. Let's create a new composition and name this comp Scene 5, then click OK. After that, go back to the Vector Logo composition and copy the dot layer once again. Now, return to the Scene 5 composition and paste it here. Then add the logo composition into this timeline as well. Now I want to create a new motion path for our dot, just like we did earlier. So first, deselect all the layers, then select the pen tool, zoom in or expand the view as needed, and start drawing a custom path. This one will move along the letters and curve around the I letter. Once the path is created, go to the search bar, type path, and that will reveal the path property under the shape layer. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then copy the path. Now close this shape layer, select the dot layer and open its position property. Make sure your time indicator is at the first frame, then select the position and paste the path here. Now you'll see the dot is moving along the path we just created using the pen tool. Next, we're going to modify the motion for better control. Click on a keyframe and it will change to a linear keyframe. Select the points that you want to convert into linear keyframes to get sharper corners where needed. Then, select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease to smooth things out. After that, open the speed graph. And this is where we'll adjust the speed for more natural movement. As I mentioned earlier, if a point isn't connected, double-click it to join the point, then hit OK in the pop-up. Now that it's connected, you can freely adjust the speed handle. I'm just playing with the curve here, tweaking the in and out speeds. Until I get the desired motion, I want the dot to move fast at first, slow down in the curves, then speed up again as it exits the path. A few more adjustments. And this is the final motion path for scene 5. Now that the path is done, we'll refine the interaction between the dot and the letters. So here's what we'll do next. Duplicate the logo layer and place the duplicated layer above the dot layer. Scrub through the timeline to follow the movement of the dot. At the moment where the dot goes behind the U letter, select the rectangle tool and draw a mask over the U. This will make it look like the dot is going under the U. I repeat the same process for the N letter, scrub the timeline, create a new mask over the N. And now it looks like the dot goes under the N as well. Now for the I letter, I want the dot to look like it wraps around it. So here I'll do something a bit more advanced. Use the rectangle tool to create a mask on the I. Then add a mask path keyframe. Move forward in the timeline and adjust the mask shape. Now it looks like the dot goes around the eye dynamically, and that's it. Scene 5 is complete. Now that all five scenes are ready, it's time to merge them together. Click the new composition icon, name this one Logo Animation, and set the duration to around 10 seconds. Then go to the project panel and drag all five scene compositions into the timeline. Now arrange the scenes in order. We'll start with scene one, where the dot moves to the right. At the point where that animation ends, 
I'll cut the layer and place scene 2 right after it. Now I'll preview the transition. And here, the goal is to match the movement of the dot from one scene to the next, so it looks like a single continuous animation. Once it's matching perfectly, I'll repeat this same method for the rest of the scenes, cutting and aligning each one to match the dot's motion flow. When everything is aligned properly, this is our final preview. And that's how you can create a custom logo animation in After Effects using vector files.